How's it going everybody? Texas Man here. I hope that you guys are all having a great day. If you guys would please give this video a thumbs up if you guys really enjoy it. Subscribe if you guys have not already. Also do me the biggest favor of all. Hit the bell notification button. That way you guys don't miss out on future videos or streams here on the channel. You guys can also find me on Discord at 6957 the Texas Man. And this is going to be my final thoughts and opinions of Deliver Us Mars, the video game that came out here in 2023. Um, I have gotten five chapters out of the eight in total in the game completed and i'm done i i am i am i'm done i'm done covering the game on the channel i'm not going to be uploading anything else i am not even going to try to finish the game in my own spare time because i i am so frustrated in order for me to get the gameplay captured for you guys i had to deal with the game constantly glitching out the game crashed on me three times and and i'm just i'm done the puzzles are irritating now i understand this is not a triple a game but the puzzles aren't polished the puzzles are annoying you either are doing tomb raiding in outer space while you're wall climbing and if you don't do it perfectly you die or you have to do a jumping puzzle and you die or you have to do some sort of stream point connection puzzle thing. And it has to be pinpoint accurate. There's not, there's no margin for error in these puzzles. Not a single margin. If you don't do it right, you don't finish the puzzle and you don't get to move on. I don't like those types of games. I want a game where, yeah, it gives me a puzzle to solve. But it shouldn't make it where I have to spend an hour plus trying to figure it out. Or I have to look up a guide. I don't like those types of single-player games. I'm happy with single-player games having puzzles. I'm happy with single-player games having puzzles. Let me say that again. I don't mind that. I do not mind that. The problem I have with Deliver Us Mars is that's all the game is, is solve puzzles, look at the beautiful scenery. The problem is, is that the graphics for this game feels like it's a decade old. Like, you can watch a clip of me in one of my videos, of one of my gameplay videos, and the camera goes bug-eyed cuckoo, and somehow the camera goes inside of my character's head, and it looks like I'm looking at seaweed, when in fact it's actually my camera is inside of my character's brain, and I'm looking at my character's hair. <laughs> I'm just like... The puzzles are annoying. I don't like them. I really don't care all that much about my main character. I really don't care what happens to any of the other characters. Um, in part four, yeah, your sister apparently dies. Um, if she survived or whatnot, I don't care. I, I don't care what's going on in this game. I played Deliver Us the Moon for an hour. I really didn't get invested in that game. I got more. I, I got through more of Deliver Us Mars because at least it's... Mars, and that's not so much of a, no pun intended, barren rock. But I just don't care. I don't care what happens to anybody. I'm not invested. There's nothing gripping about Deliver Us Mars. There's nothing fun about it. I would rather replay Hi-Fi Rush. And yes, if you guys have watched all my gameplay clips here on my channel, which if you guys haven't, is all in a playlist. If you guys have watched me play Hi-Fi Rush, there was a couple parts in there that were extremely frustrating to me. But I overcame them because I realized it was me, not the game. Deliver Us Mars isn't fun. It is a literal walking puzzle simulator. Now, if you want to drop 30 bucks on a walking puzzle simulator, have fun. But I'd rather play one of the current, one of the newer Tomb Raider games then deliver us Mars. <laughs> I, I, I... This game's not worth 30 bucks. I, get it on sale maybe in the fall for like 10. But it's going to be a game that frustrates you. And I don't want to continue playing a game just as a normal gamer or, or as a content creator. I'm not interested in playing a game that literally frustrates me. No. I, I, I'm done. I, I'm done covering a game that frustrates me. So, I'm going to move on to better things, including Destiny 2, the Lightfall DLC, which will be coming out very soon, and continuing, continuing with Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Season 2, Battlefield 2042, and other fun things that are coming out for the rest of this year. We're actually considering 
maybe getting Hogwarts Legacy just because this game was so irritating. I just want to play a, a fun game. I don't want to have to solve puzzles for eight hours. That's not fun. Like, I can think of plenty of single-player games that have puzzles within them, but they're not irritating. Alien Isolation comes to mind. Like, that game had puzzles. But it wasn't irritating, and I realized that every time I died, it was my mistake. And it wasn't the game literally hard-blocking me for an hour because I can't figure out a puzzle. And I had problems with that when I was doing gameplay part 3 and 4, and I pushed through it. With part 5, I just, I, I, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. The game looks decent for a double-A game. It, lo it looks decent enough. Um, there were some giggle moments that I had while playing it. There are some tear-jerky moments when your sister dies. But I just, I don't care about how the game ends. I don't care. And th that's the sad part. I just don't care. I'm not invested, and I don't care to play another three, four hours of the game. So, that's where I stand. That's my final thoughts and opinions of Deliver Us Mars. It's very below average, in my opinion. So, that's going to do it for Deliver Us Mars coverage here on the channel. Maybe things will get better in the third game in the trilogy if I bother covering it. But I, I am, I'm done, and I can't, I can't take any more. I'm done. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys all have a great day. Look forward to more videos and streams coming out soon. Bye, guys.